What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back. And, guys, the support has been absolutely on. It's just been amazing, bro. Let's drop. Let's get this video to 70 likes. Drop 10K in the comments. We're doing another Sunday market overview. You know, I might make this a series. We'll see how this one goes. But, bro, the support has been crazy. Drop 10K in the comments. Like the vid. So, if you are new, let's get it to 80 or 70 likes. Bro, thank you guys for the support. This, like, I can't even explain how much, like, this means to me, bro. Like, I'm coming on and I'm getting, like, crazy amount of likes, bro. I'm getting comments. I'm getting questions, bro. At 757 subs, I couldn't thank you guys enough. Like, it literally feels like I have 10K. If you look at my channel and compare it to guys at 5K, I get more likes than them. Thank you for all my supporters coming out every day. I appreciate it. Let's get into the market overview, bro. Let's keep up the support, man. This has been crazy, bro. So, let's get into it. Market overview, bro. The market crashed, and as you can see, all these guys are even cheaper. Ilamar, Verlander, and Henderson. They're all cheap. They'll keep going down. And you know who I'm picking up? I'm picking all of them up. Just not yet. I'm waiting for them to go to like 60, 50K. But let's get into the market overview. So, what happened was every single player went down, Mads. They went up a little bit. That's why I told you guys it was going to crash. Pick up as many diamonds as you can and sell them later. So, what happened was. For instance, Miguel Cabrera actually dropped. The third inning collection dropped a lot. Like the ones like Miguel Cabrera, Vlad, they dropped a lot. All these players dropped a shit ton, bro. A lot of them dropped and then so they went up a little bit over time. But they're still pretty cheap. So, what I'm saying is right now. So, ready? DeGrom went up. He was down to like 30, 28k. He went back up to 33. So, every Friday when the market crashes, I like to pick up a bunch of diamonds and like especially if their edge is down if they're like if the diamonds are mad cheap i always pick them up and they go up in value probably around today sunday or monday so let's just go over all the players and what happened so already altuve was at 33k now he's at 37. we're just gonna go over all the players what i think you should do if you have any diamonds right now i would literally just tell you to sell them because that's all like literally you just have to sell your cars like in this game the market goes up and down because there's only one source of currency, it's stubs. So the market's constantly moving, especially when they drop content. So what I recommend you guys to do, Yelich was down to 52k the other day, he's at 58 now. So as you can see, everything went up back, everything went up a little bit. But honestly, I would say sell today, tonight, or tomorrow, because that is the best time to sell. Chris Sale was at 40, he's at 45. All these players drop so much. Uh Fernando Rodney was cheap. All these players are going up a lot. a lot. Dude, if you want Reggie Jackson, this is a bunch of baller. 6K. Let's see. What else went down? Josh Hader. If you remember my video, he was at 31K. What was it? Like Thursday or Friday? No. I think it was Wednesday or Tuesday. He was at 31K. He's at 28. He was at 25 yesterday. So if you have him and I told you to sell him, good for you, bro. You could pick him up. You could pick him up, I would say, next market crash. Sell him now. Pick him up mark next market crash. Machado went down a lot, bro. He was at 56k by vid. He went down to 45. Now he's at 49. He dropped a lot. If you bought him for 45, hold on to him for a couple more days and sell him. We got Kershaw. He went down a lot. He was at 23k when I sold my video. He probably went down to 16, 17. Now he's back up at eight, not at 19. He might, he might go up to 20, yo. He literally might go up to 20k. Let's talk about other players. Okay, Javier Baez, bro. Like I said, he would get raised up in overall. He did. Like I said, his price is going to drop with the market crash. He did. Before the market crash, he was at 45. Now he was at 35 yesterday. 35k yesterday. Now he's back at 43. Javier Baez is playing like an MVP right now. You guys should go. If you guys could, I would just wait. Wait till next market crash. If you have him, I would sell him probably tomorrow. Maybe tonight. Whatever. Whatever you think is right. Whatever you think is right. Bryce Harper was crazy cheap yesterday bro he was at like 25k now he's at 30k bro if you guys like have these cards you got picked them up yo just sell them because next market crash they're gonna drop what you want to do every week this is what i do every single week this is how i make mad stubs bro i pick up as many diamond players as i can that like okay for instance let's say the market crashes at 3 30 no no let's say it's thursday the market's crashing at friday the next day I usually sell a bunch of my diamonds Thursday, Thursday night, 
And I'm just like, all right, well, they're obviously going to drop because they're dropping headliner packs. And what happens in headliner packs? Diamond flashes everywhere. So I sell my whole team. Friday at 3.30 when headliner packs drops. Every single card in the game drops. Everyone rushes to sell their cards. Everything that gets pulled, rush. Everyone rushes, bro. So that's what you want to do. You want to pick them up at 3.30 and resell them on Sunday, Monday. That's the best way to make stubs, in my opinion. That's how I got my stubs so high. Your, the, the best time to buy investments is also Friday at 3.30 Eastern Time. It's just the perfect time to buy, do anything in the, on the auction. Just buy whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You're going to make stubs either way. So that's what we got. Yo, if you guys remember about Wednesday or Tuesday, Bregman was at 26K. I was like, guys, if you have Bregman, just get rid of him. 26K is just not the move for this guy. Yo, 26K, like, no. It was just not good. He's already at 21. He was literally at 18 yesterday. If you guys have him, bro, sell him tomorrow. Believe me, it's going to work out. Let's see what else we got. Edwin Diaz is kind of expensive. He was at 30. He's at 26. He was probably at 24, 23 yesterday. Uh, honestly, bro, the dude, Chapman, if you guys have Chapman, go ahead and just get rid of this card. This is one card. I just want to tell you guys that 44K is just not the move. When, he, in the, when the game first started, bro, Chapman was at 25K. If you guys invest in meds and Chapman, which I don't think anybody would, he's at 44k. Go, just go ahead and sell him now, dude. George Springer, I invested a lot. I invested like two more of him because I saw him at six freaking k sell now, which I was like, what? Six k sell now? I was like, all right, I'm gonna pick him up. I picked up three of them, and he's at nine three. But I think he's gonna keep going up. So if you have him, just hold on to him. Wait till he gets at least 10k, 11k to sell. Uh, let's keep going though. We got. Andrew Miller, bro, he was at 32k on Tuesday. He's at 27. He literally he he dropped to 24. Like, if you guys have him, go ahead and sell him. Chris Bryant's been around the same price. He dropped a little bit. He's probably a lot cheaper on Friday. Or no, I should say Thursday. He's probably a lot cheaper. It's probably like 21k. If you guys have him, you're late. You're gonna make some stubs off that. I would sell him. Pretty much all I'm gonna tell you to do is just just sell the players, bro. That's all I'm going to say. Just keep selling your players. You will make a ton of stubs. And I'm going to go over some investments. So Okuna dropped again, even though he's been playing very well. This is a time to pick him up before he goes up to like 7, 8K. So if you guys have him, I, he might go diamond this week. If you guys want to pick up Ronald Okuna Jr., I would go pick him up. And let's go. We got Chapman. Let's see. Mr. Matt Chapman. He's at 3K, bro. If you think he's going diamond, you want to play some buy downs, bro. 2,700 stubs. That is just nuts, bro. Go snag him. Snag him right now. I'm snagging more. I have a ton of freaking Chapmans, bro. Uh, Trevor Bauer. Some kids were asking me for, for to sell him, bro. But, like, think about this. If he's at 83 overall, why would you ever want to sell 83 overall for 1K? There's no point, yo. Even if you have five and you sell him for, dude, if you just need, really need 5k stubs, go grind some games. Don't sell him. If he goes diamonds and you lose out on him going diamond, you're a freak, bro. You lost mad stubs. Just hold on to your investments, man. That's all I'm going to tell you to do. Bro, Rizzo's back at 3,300. I told everybody to pick him up at quick sell value. Literally, he's going to go diamond now. He's been playing amazing. So, if you guys... Listen to me. You got him at quick sell value. You're lit because you're going to make a ton of stubs. I have five of him. Let's go. We're going to make mad stubs off him if he goes diamond. Trevor Story at 31.9. We got, huh. Honestly, bro, if you want to pick him up, 2,700 stubs. I recommend it, man. That's cheap. Possible diamond. He's doing pretty decent. I wouldn't say amazing. He's doing decent. Zach Greinke went up a little bit. I would go ahead and just keep him, man. All these 83s, I would just say keep him. I really think all these 83s have potential diamond. Like, they're literally all diamond players. Whit Merrifield, bro. If you have Whit Merrifield, just go get him. He's quick sell value pretty much. 78 stubs over. Guys, Whit Merrifield, he's still amazing. He's still good. He has to get upgraded. Like, I, like he has to get something upgraded. Maybe his power, but bro, something. He's just, he's playing amazing. He just needs to be upgraded. And guys, let me just go to one player. And I want to talk about him. Vlad Jr. I just want to talk about Vlad Jr. to end off this video because uh, this card is the most iffy card in the game. First of all, I don't think he plays that well. His fielding is atrocious and he's fat and slow. So what I'm going to tell you to do, if you have this card, just go ahead and sell him. I don't want any issues with this card. It's just iffy as hell. 
Just get rid of him if you can. You don't know if he's going to go up in value or down in value. That's all I really have to tell you guys. Just get rid of him. That's it. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Honestly, thank you for the support once again. Let's get this one to 70 likes, I believe. Hope you guys enjoyed Mr. Market Overview. Peace. Hey, yo,